What's up guys? Today I woke up in the morning. I'm like, okay, let me stop making videos. You know, all this long I've been in school and uh, I don't really know time. There's a lot of pressure towards November, December. You know, the school vibe, you know, like you have to like study and all that. All the pressure towards exams and you, everyone gets serious and you know when you're relaxed. You feel like you're failing, right? So guys, I am I'm literally a student right now. Um, I'm at the university doing a three-year course, so I so this is the time I'm supposed to be for an internship. But right now I decided like, okay, let me come and work on the BSF. I want it to be better, and then I do my internship next year. I just made the choice myself. Uh, so basically, um, I decided like today I should start making videos for you guys of how now I'm I'm trying to scale it up. If you watch my previous videos, you realize that the background was just like a small place. There's just a small corner in the at home that I used, and I was using the home west. But right now, I decided, okay, now let me scale it up. So right now, I use the home west plus some west from the restaurants uh, to start to scale up the BSF that I'm doing. Basically, right now, I'm in the farm, and what we do in the farm is actual fish farming. We have beekeeping. So it's like a, the BSF I'm doing right now, the initial intention is for the fish. So for every fish farmer there, for every poultry farm, I think we're in the right journey right now. I know you might not have begun, you're saying like it's very hard or maybe it, I don't have BSF and all that. But the whole thing has been simple all this long. I've really learned a lot for the last um six months. Yeah, that's when I started it. So I've been trying to look into it and learn more about it. Uh, I, re I really mastered it for the, to some big percentage. You know? I mean, not to say I'm perfect, but I've literally mastered it to a, a better height. Uh, so many of you have been saying I want to learn about BSF. So I've been thinking like, okay, uh, let me just upload videos. Let me uh, upload what I'm doing right now. Maybe somebody, and that's how I learned. By the, I learned from other people. I learned from reading. I learned from um anyone. As long as you have the content about BSF, that's how I learned. It was not like I went for a particular course. So, but right now I can be able to teach someone and um make someone at least get someone to another level in this industry. You know, BSF is a game changer, and everyone knows that. Every farmer must know that. Like every farmer who does fish, or uh, talk about poultry, talk about piggery, uh, knows that BSF is a game changer. And all those things, like the highest expense is feeds when you're dealing with those three uh, products of um, agriculture. So you're like, okay, if if I make my own feeds, then like, oh, you have the what? How do you call it in economics? Like you say the... Uh, economic advantage i don't know if it's called ai yeah, something similar to that the economic advantage over other farmers and maybe even your present can be better at the end of it all so i basically started with construction i constructed um my unit whereby i can get my pre pupa harvest themselves so basically let me show you um as you can see so this is my unit so this is my unit Oh, you can see. Uh, this is where I'm going to be getting my uh, pre pupa from. So, what I want is that the the black sort of fly put here. I'm not going to harvest it. So, you realize that I gave this an angle um, that can allow the BSF to uh, come up when they are mature already, when they are turned into a pre pupa. I just made four of them. So, you realize that in the middle here, uh, in this middle path, um, I'm going to put a pipe in which they will crawl and uh, maybe I cut the pipe and then I put it here and then so that they can crawl and go into it so that it's just, I don't want to have something whereby I still have to sort the pre pupa from the, you know, the, sometimes they, they mature at different times, right? So that's something I'm trying to avoid. So like any farmer there. I think it's good to have such a system whereby you can automate the whole thing and um and maybe yeah uh, maybe by tomorrow i'll be done with this and i'll be starting to put stuff here so i literally wanted everything like everything to be complete before i start the whole thing right now i have some seeds that i'm going to be using 
uh, that's from the initial thing I did from home. So right now I'm not from, I'm not at home. I decided to come to the farm, uh, just to spend five months in the farm, you know, without the family. And just there I am. This is a new adventure, and hopefully, guys, we come together in this. You can basically see the construction is kind of shallow. Um, I'm thinking of raising this up because, like, because like it's literally dry season right now where I stay in my country right now, and you find that reaching noon, like the temperatures are extremely high, like really high. So I thought the temperature is not going to be good for BSF, and I'm thinking of raising this sheet higher so that um, they can li literally do well, right? They can do well, they can eat well and do well, and you know. Hopefully, uh, I hope that this will be a success, and um, probably come next week, it, it will, I will have finished the cycle because I already have the seeds. I'm already actual harvest. If you watch my previous short video, you realize that I've basically I had an old system of harvesting my prepupa. Uh, that works also. Like I I literally used a container and then gave it an angle using some kind of wood. You can go check out on that shot. And you realize that it's it works very well. So that's where I got the whole idea of giving it an angle. I don't want to uh so I don't want to keep it with the ones that I'm going to be giving out for the fish. I want it to just be um, for the, if it is for completing the cycle, everything here, I'll be using it in the love net. So I'm not taking it uh, for any fish out there. So for the fish, I keep it in the containers. But for the love cage, you know what it is. This is where I've done it. And this is enough work, yo. This is enough for the start. And I'm thinking of scaling it up in the near future before before i go back to school say so before before may that's when i'm going back to school anyway so i have to scale it up i have to make it big so that even besides fish uh we may have to introduce poultry at the same time so like people people usually wonder like why why do i have to do with this like this is a great opportunity people do not know like i really see the value in it though uh, people expect me at my age to be going out there, like having fun. And since now you have a long break out of school, you're supposed to be doing internship, so you're supposed to um at least be chilling out there. So I'm like, guy, uh, I don't want to come out of the university and be waiting for a job, right? So why is it not good that I I invest in something like this? I invest my time, my energy, I learn more about it, I practice it, so that when I'm out of school, I can start any project here. I can start poultry, I can start maybe even piggery, but I'm not a fan of piggery. Uh, fish farming, I met mastering it, but basically I want to learn more about poultry and fish uh, fish farming. Uh, those seem to be lucrative for now. And probably... It'd be a good source of employment because I, I really love agriculture though. Like I really love it. I, I know there are those people who expect me to get an office job. Look for an office because the course I'm doing it is like, okay, guy, you have to look for an office job. You no, know, that's a decent course. I'm like, okay. That's not my plan. That's not my plan. That's not my plan. That's not my plan, literally. My plan is here. My plan is the game changer. And you know, like we're all dealing, like oh, this is a, this is actually sustaining the environment right now. Like we need a sustainable environment. Everyone needs that, literally, guys. You need it. I need it. So, uh, this is just like okay, why people throw away garbage, right? So, what if you help the community gather garbage? You know, like people say, uh, a profit is um is a reward for solving a problem. So. I've always been meditating about that. I'm like, okay. So, when I learned about BSF six months back, I'm like, oh, oh, this is an opportunity here. So, I need to solve a community problem, right? I think this is a community problem. So, like, I did research and I'm like, it's like 70% of the uh, municipal waste we have right now is organic. And only what is collected is less than 50%. And the rest is dumped in incorrectly. So it's like, why can't, in future, why can't you come up with a system that helps the people? 
that uh, reduces um, uh, risks, health risks to the community. Now that's all, you know, that's that's a good thing to do, like literally. So um, that's why I took up this. Um, maybe I'll try to scale it up. I'll try to work on it. But for now, I'm really dedicated to it. I am passionate. And uh, I'll basically do it. I'll do it. So somebody will be asking how I did this. So you realize that um, this layer, uh, let me show you this layer. Here I put like two bricks. Um, here there's only one brick. So this other part where... You realize that this part where I put the angle... Uh, I want it to be at 35 degrees, but this still works well. So uh, it's like the waist is going to be up to this height. So it's just like a little height left up. Uh, so I had to put here one brick, and then I had to build an angle, and then like that was all. That was really simple. You can really see the system. Literally, this is a small room. Like this room was like um, 2.5 meters by. Uh, 2.5 meters by 2 meter. Yeah, so it's it's not like a big room, so I just decided to utilize it for the uh, for this setup. So I recommend it for anyone really who wants to do BSF to have such a system so that you don't have to think of saving the uh, pre pupa to take the love cage. I literally everything you want in the love cage is just got from here. So what you keep in your containers. Yep. So guys, uh, I'm back. I'm back with videos. I'm back from school. Uh, I'm back with BSF and I'm making it massive for the fish farmers. Just know right now, I'm doing fish with BSF, but basically mostly majoring in BSF though. And like as a major in BSF, but I had to learn more about fish. I really don't know much about fish, but right now, what I'm doing is for the fish, and I'm trying to learn about the fish. I'm doing them concurrently, actually. So, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't miss to subscribe, like, and share the video. And let's grow together. Let's learn about BSF together, and uh, let it be a game changer for every farmer out there, right? Let's all change our perception. And... Stop seeing this as garbage, really. I really don't recommend. I, I really hate it when people say that, oh, this guy deals with rubbish. You know, I don't deal with rubbish. I do waste management there. I do waste management, so I don't deal with rubbish. Although, don't call it rubbish. Anyway, literally, BSF is gold. Another life gold, anyway. So, anyway, thanks for watching today and stay tuned for more videos.